self-awareness. Because if you are not self-aware, do not invest even a peswa in anything hoping to get anything back. Self-awareness. Self-awareness is basically how you interpret things when it happens to you. Now, when you are to invest money in anything, if you are not self-aware, do not do it. Self-awareness, what do I mean? One is catastrophizing. Catastrophizing. Where you make things appear as if, but they are not. Secondly, developing the mindset of all or nothing thinking. If it is not 100%, I don't want 80. I don't want 50. Come on, drop this thinking. Again, over generalization. You have met only me, a coaching consultant. I have impacted your life. They say, oh, coaching consultants are excellent people. Meanwhile, it is only one you've met. Perhaps there are people out there who are junks, but that is not what I'm saying. I just even stress this to, they stretch this to tribes, to regions, to countries where they make one sweeping statement about everybody and almost everything within that tribe, within that district, within that region. There is a popular saying that, oh, Dagomba men are not romantic. How many Dagomba men have you met that they are not romantic? You know perhaps only one. And that one, do you know the percentage of Dagomba people? Certainly no. So you don't have to develop that kind of mindset. Others say, oh, Gonjes, they are mean. Come on, how many Gunjas have you met? It's a tribe of so many hundreds of thousands of people. You've, per you've perhaps met only one person, or even you've not met anybody. It's just because people are talking about that, then you put it on your mind. Drop this. It means when you keep this kind of thinking on you, it means you are not self-aware. And self-aware people are not supposed to invest because their self lack of self-awareness will let them lose lots of money. Additionally, you have set out to do A, B, C, D. Then you say, I must do this. I should have done that. Eventually, when you're not able to do it, you demotivate yourself. Please leave, drop this. Then others attaching, others uh, doing what you call labeling. Attaching negative label to themselves or others without any justification. Any justification. Others go around doing Mind reading. What others do, fortune telling. Predicting negative things about the future when they don't have any evidence. Emotional reasoning. Discounting the positive. Oh, anybody could have done this. Anybody could have won the, could, could have scored the penalty. Come on, it's not that way. Credit people where they do well and then tell the truth where it is. You don't have to discount the truth. Another is blame and personalization. Because you are not able to become first. Yes, oh, I'm not good. The others, they have better foundations than I did. That is how come they are, come on, stop this. If you are to get the maximum out of your investments, you don't have to put this kind of thinking on your mind. Others, uh, mental filtering. Others are putting things on their minds that gets you demotivated. So these are called self-sabotaging behaviors. And you are not supposed to develop this. As a young person, I'm just adding this to you as bonuses. Because if you have this kind of mindset, if you have this kind of conception about life, it damages everything you touch, it damages everything you associate, it damages everything you invest your resources in. So drop this. Whilst you are dropping this, I encourage you to get mentors, I encourage you to get coaches, I encourage you to live your life every day, believing that everything is possible and you can achieve.